This is the Roman Show. Not at all. Everything that uh, that he threw at me, I kind of anticipated. I, you know, I told my coaches and training partners this whole camp that I knew it was going to be a tough fight. Um, you know, everybody looked at him and, and looked past him. You know, because of his physique and his goofy demeanor. But uh, you know, I watched the tape on him more than anybody else did. I knew it was going to be very difficult, and um, you know, I felt like I was winning the scrambles in the first round, and I felt like I could do it again in the second and the third. Felt like that at one point I would I would mount him or. Uh, I would take his back, and uh, and that my offense would kick in. But uh, he he maintained a, a stellar pace to the whole fight while I felt myself slow down. And I think that was the name of the fight in this in, in this uh, in this in this contest. Did you think about making it a stand-up fight at all? You know, my coaches were telling me to do that, and and going into the second round and the third round, uh, that was that was the plan. And I'm not sure what happened in between <laughs> the bell ringing and uh, and and us grabbing a hold of each other. Something in my brain just kicked in and said, "Grab a hold of him," and uh, that's something I'll go back and watch the tape on and uh, and make sure we'll correct. But uh, you know, in the meantime, it's just an opportunity to uh, you know show all the the young and up and coming guys in the sport that uh, that you know this is a a cutthroat game and the the margin of error in mixed martial arts is very slim and any mistake you make, you you, you will pay for it. Did he surprise you with anything? He didn't surprise me. No, you know I I. I I felt like I could get out of the uh, the submission when he first threw up the triangle. I knew he was going to switch between a triangle and an arm bar combination, and um, I, you know I tried to to make the adjustments in, uh, in in each each submission he threw up, and then he was just a split set step ahead of me. Did you think you could have won the decision had it gone another? I did. Yeah, I did. I, I right when I got on top of him in the in the uh, in the middle of the third round, I felt like I felt like that was that was my time to win the fight, and um, at that point I was just. Um, I was trying to advance position. I, I never want to be a fighter who just lays on someone and, and looks for the decision. And I think it was my attempts to pass guard that um, ended up uh, biting me in the ass. Did his size give you any trouble? He was huge, man, yeah. And I'm used to being the biggest guy in the middleweight division. Everyone looks at me and says I'm big. And uh, I know I am big and I'm large, but um, he, he was a very, very large middleweight, the, the biggest guy I've ever fought. You know, he, he was uh, he was very similar to me in that we both have uh, excellent uh, excellent offense. You know, and, and I think both of us had defensive liabilities that could have been exploited, and um, and it was just about who was going to find the holes in the other guy's game, and, um, and and I didn't do a good enough job of finding his holes, and he and and, and he found mine at the very end of the fight. Oh, you know, like I said, this is just an opportunity to show the guys that look up to me that uh, that you know that MMA is is uh, is a game of just you know inches and, and milliseconds and and no one is safe. Nobody's safe in this game. Look at Ronda Rousey. She looked unbeatable. She looked unstoppable, and she was stifled and um, and got her ass kicked. So at that point, after after that fight, I don't think there's anybody who should be watching mixed martial arts and be surprised by any outcome. Was there any ad disappointment just getting the fight in Florida and just not being able to pull out a result? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I was hugely disappointed. You know, I'm, it, right now as we're sitting here talking and I'm speaking with all you guys, I'm realizing that I'm going to have to walk back into that uh, that crowd of friends and family and uh, everyone who flew from all over the country and drove from all over the state to come see me. And um, and uh, you know, I'm going to have to explain to them why uh, why I didn't come home with the victory. So uh, it's times like these you find out who your real friends are anyway. Does this appointment uh, encourage you to go back into the gym, or does it make you a little hesitant? No, you know, I got a lot of these questions about how often I want to fight leading up to this fight, and I think that with all the things I have going on, I still think that twice a year is good for me. One summer fight and one winter fight is how I keep my mind and body sharp, and I know there's a lot of folks who would prefer that I fight more often than that, and I have friends and family who don't want me to fight at all. So this is it's completely up to me and my decision, and, and while I do give, uh, you know, um, a, a lot of uh, – a lot of weight to what my friends and family and coaches tell me. Ultimately, the decision is mine. Anyone you're looking to fight in the next time? Oh no, that's that's way. We're, we're, I just got out of a fucking loss, man. No way. <laughs> this is the Roman Show.